Hello everyone, welcome to the CS Revelation. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and install the NetBeans IDE and the JDK. So in order for you to write Java code and execute it, you will need uh, a development environment and a development kit. So you could use, for example, NetBeans IDE, you can use Eclipse or any other IDEs available out there, but you definitely need a Java development kit. So two components that we're going to be installing today, the Java development kit uh, and the NetBeans IDE. So here are the steps. Now, the first step here is to install the Java development kit. And at the recording time of this video, the latest version of JDK is 15. So simply type in Java SE 15 download in your browser. Uh, and then uh, the first link, uh, that's the one you want to click on. Then it will take you to the download page. Uh, this is an Oracle download page uh, because Oracle now owns Java. So you would want to click on JDK download. Uh, this is the link right here. So click on JDK download. And then you want to scroll all the way to all these different versions that are available. So based on your operating system, you're going to choose the one that is compatible. I'm using Windows 64-bit. Uh, so I'm going to click on the bin.exe. This is the link, the download link. I'm going to click on that. Uh, it's going to ask you to accept the uh, license agreement. So click that and click the button to download. Now this will take about a few seconds to download, uh, even though it's a 160 megabyte file, but it's actually a quick download. Once that finishes downloading, you want to click on it. Now, uh, this is going to load the installer. You want to click yes. And we're going to begin the installation process. Click next, next, and then wait until the installation process uh, is finished. And then just simply click on close. Now the Java development kit is installed. Uh, we would want to use the Java development kit with the NetBeans IDE development environment. Uh, as a matter of fact, you could use the Java development kit without uh, the NetBeans IDE or the Eclipse. You could simply use it with your prompt command uh, or you could use it with a simple uh, notepad file. So you could type your Java code in a notepad file and then uh, you will compile it and run it uh, using that J Java development kit that you have already installed. But you know, to keep things simple and uh, easier to maintain and work with, so you're going to install the NetBeans uh, ID. So what you want to do is just simply type netbeans.org and that's going to take you to the NetBeans download page. So type netbeans.org. Uh, this is the download button right here. Just click on it. Uh, now, the available versions here, it says Apache NetBeans 12, features update 1, and then there is the Apache NetBeans 12 LTS. So what you want to do is uh, I recommend uh, downloading the LTS version uh, because that is uh, that has uh, lifetime support. Uh, this one is still a new update, so click on this one. And then uh, you would want to choose uh, this link right here, the binaries. So you want to download the zip file right here. So you click on that. Uh, it will take you to all these links, uh, the mirror sites for your download. So you're going to choose the first link. Uh, once you click that, it's going to start the download for NetBeans. Uh, it's about 357 megabytes, so it's a uh, big file and it's going to take some time. So I already downloaded this, so I'm going to hit cancel. Uh, I already downloaded NetBeans and it's downloaded in my downloads folder. So what, what I want to do next, once you guys have finished downloading the NetBeans ID, you want to go to the downloads and that's where you find uh, the NetBeans 
uh, the NetBeans zip file. Now next, uh, you would want to extract these files. So you want to right click on the NetBeans zip folder and then just uh, click on extract files. Then from this menu, just choose the location uh, where you want to extract these files. So you want to choose the C uh, drive here. That's recommended um, location. Just click OK. Uh, and then click yes here. It's going to take a few seconds to extract these files, but once it's done extracting, the files will be now located in the C drive where all the other applications are located. So you wanna navigate now after the extraction is done, you wanna navigate to the C drive and that's where you're going to find the NetBeans folder here. So open that and then just go to the bin folder. And now in the bin folder, you're going to find uh, the executable. Uh, this is the NetBeans 64. So by double clicking it, you will start the NetBeans uh, IDE. Uh, there's something else that you can also do, which is by creating a shortcut and moving it into the desktop. So in the future, if you would want to start NetBeans, you could simply double click this shortcut. Uh, once you start NetBeans uh, at the beginning, it's going to take a few minutes. So once it's done loading, it's going to open up uh, NetBeans uh, and uh, just simply hit agree. And then uh, you could start now creating your Java applications. So let's just uh, simply create our first app and that's going to be a Hello World program. So you want to cl click on new project. Uh, you're going to choose uh, Java with Ant. Uh, you're not going to choose Java with Maven or Gradle. The one that we're using here uh, is going to be Java with Ant. And then you're going to uh, choose Java application and then click next. Uh, and then here you could name your project. I'm going to name this one uh, Hello Program. And uh, just uh, here you can browse to the location where your project you want your projects to be stored. Uh, right now, the default is in documents in this project in this folder that's called NetBeans project. But you can actually browse to a different location like your flash drive or some other location and uh, set it to be the location where your project is going to reside. Uh, then hit finish. Once you hit finish, is going to uh, start your, uh, it's going to give you the IDE in which uh, you have all this code. Um, in later videos, I'm going to explain everything that is automatically generated here. But for now, because we're only testing uh, if our environment is in good condition and it is working, uh, maybe we could just simply print something. So just go here instead of that to do. Uh, you're going to type, uh, let's say system out uh, print ln and then we're going to type let's say hello world so this is just simply going to uh, print in the console window here it's going to print hello world so that's what this uh, statement is for there'll be more on this in uh, future videos but um, for now we're just going to test if this is compiling the right way and if it is executable executing our um, code uh, the proper way. Now, uh, the button that is going to execute our code is right here. It's either that you click on F6 or you click on this run project button. So you click on that and this is where the executable or the result of the execution going to show. So uh, of course, this is um, uh, the process of the execution, but what is the result of the code that we've typed is this. So it says hello world. So we simply outputted hello world in the console window here. So right now our NetBeans IDE is working and it is connecting to our Java development kit. So these are the steps, uh, follow them. They're simple. Uh, all you need to do, download the JDK, download the IDE, uh, NetBeans IDE, follow the steps, and you shouldn't have any problems getting your environment set up. Uh, I hope you found this video helpful uh, and I will see you in the next one. So peace.